Hey guys, and welcome back to my Sims. We are here in Marvel, and before we get to the building part of and continue our making objects for Chef Gino, I thought that it would be nice to just enjoy a uh, life a little bit and splash in fountain. For example. <laughs> so let's just enjoy this. <laughs> there are actually quite a lot of things that we can can do in this town. We can eat at Gino's, of course. And we can just walk around and get lost. We can go fishing. And actually I can show you this um, this uh, little thing. This is one of the ways to get more essences. And this is how it works. All the uh, where's uh, puddles? They they are the spots that you are, are able to get essences and you just uh, move the mouse there and click the uh, left mouse pattern and pull and that's the way to uh, fish for essences so let's get some fish there's some clownfish Oh, I missed that. And rainbow trout. And one more. Tires. Who's throwing tires? And I think that's enough for now. Okay. So, so that's how you fish for essences. And I think this is Patrick's house. So let's go and see him. Just, f just for fun. He's the guy who's always hungry. And we can actually decorate other Sims houses. Like Patrick's. We can make him some um, some furniture, even though he's not asking us to do that. We can do that still. And here, as you can see, he's showing us that he doesn't have a bed. Yeah. So we could actually make him a bed and that way uh, improve our relationship as well. And that also... Oh, he needs a bed. Ooh, I think we can do that, yes. <laughs> Poor little Patrick. So, um, making uh, stuff for others, other sims is also one of the ways to raise this um, star level panel here on the left hand corner, uh, upper left hand corner and he's going to pass out. So, that's awkward. Let's just go. So that's Patrick's house. And do we actually have the... No, we don't have an official tasks task from him. But we can definitely make him a bed. So let's go here and create new item. And let's pick a bed.
Come on. Oh dear. There you go. Okay, and I'm not really sure what he likes, but let's pick something. Eight balls. That's actually a pretty nice be uh, nice bedding. But anyway, at least he has a bed now. Okay. So let's go over to Patrick's place. Hello, Mr. Piggy. Has he passed out already? <laughs> and let's give him in the bed. And we actually have one extra extra uh, table as well. Uh, so we could give it to him. Although he does have a uh, table already. And let's see his interests. Oh, he likes uh, tasty things. <laughs> yeah. A red kitchen for a guy. That's nicer. Okay, let's give that back to him. So, uh, let's continue strolling around and see what kinds of fun things we can do here. So it's night time. And I'm kind of nocturnal. Uh, anyway, so let's just uh, spend the night collecting some essences. And here's another house. This is uh, where Violet lives. And I think Violet is Poppy's sister. But yeah. So Violet is a gothic sim. As you can see. And it's actually... Busha! What are you doing? Um... Violet. I think she is pretending to be a vampire. He's a blur. You blur? Huh. And it's pretty funny when you are being nice to a gothic sim. They actually drop some sad, uh, sad essences, <laughs> or um, I think it's horror. Yeah, it was. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Scary. I said something in Finnish. Sorry. Yeah, scary essences. So it's really funny when you are being nice. Uh, 
They are actually being scared. I like the solitude as well. So let's just see for fun uh, what happens. Oh, some more sad SSS. But you know, I'm a nice person. I love the faces that Sims are making, like Violet. Those big eyes of hers. Mm, so cute. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so good. Good. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's good as well. I meant to say cute. Okay, let's go. And later when more sims are moving in, we can do more stuff. Because um, many of them have their own little businesses. So we can go there and uh, spend some time. And let's see what's here. The train station is here. And we are go not going to go uh, to the station right now. I think we are going to go here. And if you remember in the previous episode, in the previous episode we reached star level 1. And we got a crowbar. And that's a way to break this uh, wooden fence here. So we can get to another... Another little, another little place, and let's see what's what's behind that fence. Scary. And this is another place where we can uh, dig around for some essences. Finding any <coughs> There you go. Some video games. And what else? Action figures. I think each uh, prospecting place has at least th uh, three different kinds of essences. I think there are uh, there is one more. Determined to find that one. Oh well, maybe there are just two of those. Let's try once more. Ah, 
Okay. Maybe I was for, uh, wrong. <laughs> That's very, uh, quite possible. Okay, so we have a task and we need to build a geno, a sink, a stove and a fridge. So let's go to the uh, workshop. And I'm lost. And as you can see, we still have to use five uh, apple essences, so we need to add some more parts to this basic sink, which will be interesting because I am not really that creative when it comes to uh, building stuff here, but I think... We can do something with that. Maybe there and and I think we will need to no, that's too big. No. Yeah, this is going to look so ridiculous. <laughs> many blocks we are going to get more uh, I think uh, it increases each uh, each time we complete some tasks or reach um, higher at the star level thingy oh gosh this looks so funny okay so that was five. We still need one. One more. Okay, there you go. It doesn't really matter uh, how it looks like as long as we can use all the essences that are required. So there you go. Lo what a lovely thing. But you know, Tina will be happy, and that's the most important thing. And I think we need to find some more uh, 
stone essences. have enough okay sorry let's go back Okay, so I was interrupted earlier, but good news is that I finished making the stove, fridge and the sink for Gino, and now we are going to visit him again, and maybe have a nice plate of spaghetti or pizza. Buonasera. Wake up. <laughs> I love Gino. Okay, so there's the fridge. I changed it. Changed it a little bit. Let's see. There you go. So there. And the stove. And there's the Yay, we get a uh pizza deco. So now uh, Gino's kitchen is finished and he doesn't have any more tasks for us. So now we can just uh, sit back and enjoy some spaghetti. Yummy. And now it's a good time to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a great night.